Now, welcome to another video on the set terminologies. Now, for set terminologies, the first thing I'm going to explain here. The first thing I'm going to explain here is the elements of a set. Now, the denotion of element of a set is like this. Now, we are talking about the elements of a particular set. Now, the element of a set are objects that are present in the world in a particular set. Now, for instance, if you say set A is equal to A, E, I, then we can say that element A, that is A, E, is element of set A. And it's obvious that E, E is also element of set A. This is the notion. I can say that I is element of set A. But do you know that at this point here, there is no set U here. There is no U inside this element. There is no U as part of the element of what? Of set A here. Then I can say that U is not, if you want to say it's not, you put slash, it's not an element of what? Of A. This is how to do the denotion of what? Of set. So that's how we say elements at the notion of element, that's why we say that element of a particular set is, are what, is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is an object that presents in the world in the particular set. Number two. Number two, we have what you know as universal set. Now, the denotion of universal set is when you have something like this or when you have something like this. This is the notion. Now, universal set is the set that encloses all subsets. That is, let's say you have set A to be 1, 2, 3. Then set B to be 4, 5, 6. Then I can say that universal set or this particular point is equal to... Now, what's the combination of all the subsets? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Now, let's see, let's see this. Now, can you see that this universal set consists of these subsets? Now, that is what we know as well. This is what we know as universal set. Now, number three. Number three, we talk about the cardinality of a set. Now, cardinality of a set, of a particular set, we can see the notion of the cardinality to be N. So let's say the cardinality of set A now is N of A. Or we use the symbol like this. This is the cardinality of a particular set. Now let's say, imagine you have set A to be A, E, I, O, U. Then we can now say that N of A, that is the, the cardinality of this particular set, the number of this set, can you see that? How many elements belong to it? That's one, two, three, four, five. And that's equals to what? Five. That means we can define the cardinality of a particular set to be the total number of elements in a particular set. So the total number of elements in a particular set is known as cardinality of what? Of a particular set. Now, if you check this very well, we have, let's say you have something like set B, set B to be 419725. Now if you check, if you now say N of B here, that is, the numbers of the cardinality, the numbers of the elements of this particular set, that will now be one, two, three, four, five, six, and that is equal to what six. The number of the elements in this set is equal to six. Now the next one is power set. Now the power set is p, and the basic formula we use for power set is two raised power n. Power set. If you are asked to find the power set of a particular set, we say it is equal to 2 raised power n. Now, this power set, if you want to get the full explanation of this power set, there's an episode in, in our channel that I explain the power set in details. So please and please check the David Calculator, search the David Calculator on this YouTube channel and check for the power set. Yes, how to understand the power set. Then you are going to see the side of the power set in details. So please, I will not be able to include the power set in this aspect because we've already made a video for the world, for the power set. Number five.
Number five is empty sets. What is empty sets? Empty sets can also be known as void sets. And we can also say it is null sets. Now, what are empty sets? Now, imagine we, we say empty set is a set that consists of no elements. Or empty set is set without elements. Now, example, if you have something like set A is set of, let me say, we, we use the denotion of empty set. Let me firstly give you the denotion. This is the notion of empty set. Don't forget, I told you that uh, we, use, we use curly brackets for the word, for the set. Or we use this. This is empty set. This is the denotion of empty set. Now, let's say, for instance, you have set B to be equal to X such that this symbol means such that this symbol means such that we have set B to be X such that X is an element. Don't forget, this is the meaning of element. It's an element of N. Now, what is N? N means natural numbers. And what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are positive O numbers. Don't forget, I told you that we have what you know as natural numbers, we have integer numbers, we have rational numbers, we have real numbers, and we have what? The complex number. In our previous episode, I've already made video on what? On natural numbers and the likes. Now, set B is equal to X, and X is an element of N, and your X is less than, let's say less than zero. Now, if you check this very well, B is an empty set, or we use the denotion like this. The reason why B is an empty set is that natural numbers are positive O numbers. And those are numbers that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we don't have the natural numbers that is lesser than 1, that is lesser than 0. And that's why the answer is what? Is empty set. That's the answer. Now, another aspect is that is another uh, terminology we can have is. I've explained the proper subset, I've explained the subset, and I've explained the superset. So please and please, go and let me let me just list it here. We have number six. Number six is subset. Number seven, we have the proper subset. Number eight, we have the superset. Superset. But please and please, these three, I've explained it in one video in, on our YouTube channel. So please and please visit our YouTube channel, search then David Calculator, so that you can see the aspects on this subset, proper subset, and superset. I made a well explanation on that. Now let us see number nine now. Now for number nine, we have to explain the aspects of equality of set. Now equality of set. Now, what is equality of set? Now, two sets are said to be equal if the element of A, if all the elements in A present in B, and if all the elements of B present in what? In A. Let's say, for instance, set A is English vowels. Set A are English vowels. And set B is A, E, I, O, U. Then we can say that A is equal to B. Or we say that B is equal to what? Is equal to A. So set A is equal to set B. If the what? If the element in one is, pre is what? Present in other one. That is, if all the elements in A present in B, or all the elements in B present in what? In A. Now, the next one is that we explain the aspect we call the finite set. Now, what's a finite set? Finite sets are sets that you can what? That you can list. Example. If you have, this is the sets at which you can list. Example, if you have sets A to be equal to X, such that X is an element, such that X is an element of, let's say Z, and don't forget that Z is integer numbers. And we have seven lesser than X, then that is when we say seven lesser than X, I was going to say x lesser than, let's say, 12. Now, you can list this because the answer to this here is that a is an element of x and x a is, an, is, is such that a is x 
such that x is an element of what z and what are z z is negative o number and what and positive o number because because z is integers and what are integers integers are negative o numbers and positive o numbers they now said x is greater than 7 but x is lesser than 12. now when x is greater than 7 that means we have 8 9 10 11. it will not be up to 12 because we say that x is lesser than what 12. that is the s that's the meaning of what finite set number nine number 11. we have what you know as infinite sets now what's an infinite set infinite sets are sets that you cannot list now when you say sets are which you cannot list we have a lot of example if you say b set b is x such that x is an element of let's say is an element of n don't forget that n is a natural numbers n are natural numbers i can now say that x is greater than let's say five now if you check this very well we have b to be x and x is an element of natural numbers natural numbers are positive o numbers they are positive o numbers that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten to infinity now they now say x is greater than five that means what you are saying that b that is x is now six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen etc can you see that we cannot list this it is to infinity so because it's an infinity then we cannot say that b is what is infinite set but this one that we can list we say that a is what is finite set so that's meaning now this is the difference between the finite set and what an infinite set the next one number 12 we have what you known as odd numbers now what are odd numbers odd numbers are numbers or let me say they are all numbers that cannot be divisible by two they are all numbers that cannot be divisible by two example you can have three for uh, example example you can have three you can have five you can have seven you can have nine you can have eleven you can have thirteen so those numbers that cannot be divided by two to give you all number they are odd they are odd numbers number 13 we have even numbers even numbers are numbers that can be divisible by two example you can have the the, the example of the all uh, even numbers that is give me example of numbers that can be divisible by two we can have two because two divided by two will give us what we can have it, it will give us one we can have four you can have six you can have eight you can have ten you can have twelve etc so any numbers that can be divisible by two is called even number but numbers that cannot be divisible by two they are called odd numbers now we have what you known as prime numbers now what is prime number now prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors you have only two factors example we can have two we can have three we can have five we can have seven we have eleven you have thirteen etc now the reason why we say two numbers that they have only two factors if you check these two now two the only thing that can give us two is two times one if you see three now the only thing that can give us three is three times one so they only have two factors even five is five times one we have seven seven times one will give us seven so there's nothing that can give us seven again so 11 as well the same thing but if you are seeing composite numbers now this is where i'm going to end the class that's number 15 composite now for composite numbers composite numbers are numbers that have more than two factors e.g that's why we have four we have six we have eight we have nine we have ten let me stop here the reason why if you check this very well four you have different factors for four you have two times two we'll give you four you have four times one we'll give you four so that means for four here now four as the factor of one it has two it has four guys now if you see six now six has a lot of factors like two sorry like one rather we have two we have three we have six because one times six will give us six Two times three will give us six. You understand? Now, like eight as well, it will be we have two there, we have four, we have eight as well. We also have one. One times eight will give us eight. Two times four will also give us eight. So that is the example of what of the composite number. So these are the example of the words of some terminologies that you need to know about the cell theory. 
So please and please, at the comment section, let me know, like, comments if these numbers are, let me know the kind of numbers they belong to. Number one is 419. Number two is 666. Number three is 825. Now let me know if the kind of category, let me, let me give you an ex example. This is your exercise to do. Let me give you an example. Like two now. Two is an evil number. Two is an evil number. Can you see how you are going to do it? Two is an evil number. And at the same time, two is a prime number. Two is a prime number and it's also what? An evil number. So can you see? So let me know. This one can also be an evil number and at the same time what? Prime number. So are we together? So these are what? Are the, are the properties I want you to state for each of these. So number one, number two, and what? And number three. Thank you very much for today. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe for the next video. God bless you.